Phoenix Systems, patented tools for the perfect brake job. We all know when it comes to stopping our bikes that having the perfect brake is a must. Brake bleeding can be somewhat challenging and have many different techniques, and therein lies the mystery. How do we get the perfect brake? So the complaint on this bike is of a spongy brake lever. We know that air in the brake system will cause spongy brake levers. So we are gonna show you how to remove the air out of the brake system using the revolutionary reverse brake bleeder by Phoenix Systems. Now what we have already done is removed the bleeder screw and coated it with the Phoenix System thread seal. It prevents leaks and is impervious to brake fluid. If you don't have the thread seal, you're more than welcome to use Teflon tape. Just be sure that you do not cover the vent holes on the bleeder screw. With the conventional style brake bleeding, what we do is we take, we add fluid into our reservoir, and then we force the fluid down our system and out of our caliper. The problem with that is we're forcing air in a very unnatural direction. The Phoenix System Revolutionary Brake Bleeder, what they do is they take and they force the air from the caliper up the system and into our reservoir, forcing air in the natural direction that it likes to flow. So before we can start, we need to remove our reservoir cap and remove some of the fluid out of the system so that we can prevent from spilling brake fluid onto our bike and making a mess. Now that we've taken off the cap and removed the fluid, make sure you leave enough fluid in the reservoir to cover the return port. Now that we've done that, we're gonna come over and we're gonna prime the tool. And we'll take this and we wanna make sure we put it on the suction side of the bottle. Uh, on this one, it's black. And then we'll take the tool and putting it up in the air, we'll start to pump fluid through the line and we'll go all the way up to the top so that we'll be sure not to inject any air into our system. So a quick tech tip before you get started, make sure you place the cap back on the reservoir. The pressure from the tool can cause it to squirt up. Just place it, don't screw it down. What we wanna do is we take our tool and we just squeeze it just enough till fluid starts to come in and then we'll put it right back on to our bleeder screw. And then, holding it there, we'll just take and we'll loosen up our bleeder screw. And then we'll just slowly start to inject our fluid. Here's another tech tip. It's called pulse generation. And what you do is you take and you squeeze the handle like this ever so slightly to cause pulses in the fluid to assist removing the air out of the system. And now at this point, we wanna go ahead and fill the reservoir halfway full. If we're doing a dual caliper system, we wanna go a quarter of the way before moving to the other side. But since this is a single caliper system, we can go ahead and tighten up the bleed screw now that we have 99% of the air out of our system. So as I mentioned earlier, now that we've done this, we've got 99% of the air out of the system. To get that other 1%, and to get the firmest brake lever possible, we need to move fluid in two directions. So in order to do that, I've taken my reverse brake bleeder here, and I have switched from this side, pulling out of my reservoir to this side that was pushing, I've reversed them so that I can cause a vacuum. So what I wanna do is put it on my bleeder, pop it open again, and then I just want to pump to be able to get the air out of both systems. While vacuum bleeding, make sure you check your reservoir continually to make sure you do not run out of brake fluid in the reservoir. Since I've already done that and I've tightened off my bleeder screw, we're gonna go and check the firmness of my brake lever. So now that we've redone our reverse bleeding and our vacuum bleeding, you can see and feel that we've got the firmest brake lever possible. So, I'm ready to take this thing out on the road and see how it does there. Don't forget to stick around and watch our tech tips and visit us at brakebleeder.com and pick up your very own reverse brake bleeder. Tech tips. Tech tip number one 
In order to get the firmest brake lever possible, use two methods. The two methods we used earlier were the patented reverse bleed and a vacuum bleed. Tech tip number two, it's a good idea to have the master cylinder level. This makes sure that no air gets trapped in the banjo fitting. To do this, we need to make sure our kickstand's down, rest the bike on it, and then turn our handlebars inward, leveling out the master cylinder. Tech tip number three, fluid recirculation. We showed you earlier on in the video how to prime the reverse bleeder using one way. Now we're gonna show you how to prime it using another way to ensure getting all the air out of the system. First, we're gonna take the vacuum port hook it up to the black. Then we're gonna take the other one, hook it up to the white. And then we're gonna pump, prime the pump, a couple of pumps, to make sure we get all the air out. This is not recommended for DOT5 brake fluid. Remember to follow the instructions in the video. Thanks for checking out our tech tips. Don't forget to visit us at brakebleeder.com to pick up your own tool. Until then, we'll see you around. Phoenix Systems. Patented tools for the perfect brake job.